Hi, in this tutorial, we'll look at uh, significant figures and calculations. We'll start with rules for counting significant figures. One, non-zero integers. Non-zero integers always count as significant figures. Two zeros. There are three classes of zeros. One leading zeros. These are zeros that precede, that precede a non-zero integer. These These do not count as significant figures. E.g., the number zero point zero zero eight six. This number has only two significant figures. This number has two significant figures. The three zeros only show the position of the decimal point. Two, captive zeros. These are zeros between non zero integers this always count as significant figures eg the number 3.0 zero zero six four this number these are the captive zeros so this number has five significant figures this number has five significant figures three Trading zeros. These are zeros at the right, at the right end of the number. These do not count as significant figures or you can say they are significant they are significant only if the number has a decimal point e.g. 0 0.520 zero. this is a trading zero so in this case this number has three significant figures one two three 
this is a trading zero because of the decimal point it is significant this is a leading zero it's not significant the number written as The number written, the number written as two zero zero two hundred. This number has one significant figure. There is no decimal point. Then the number written as Two hundred. Then with a point there, this number has three significant figures. The number written as one point zero five times ten to the power two. This number has three significant figures. The advantage of writing in um, scientific notation or exponential notation is that the number of significant figures is clearly shown and uh, fewer zeros are used uh, when writing a very small number or a very large number. Then now let's look at um, uh, rules for significant figures in the mathematical operations. One for multiplication. And uh, or division, the result, the result has the same, the same number of significant figures, of significant figures as as the number as the number with least precise measurement used in the calculation eg they say 4.52 times 6.8. In this case, limiting term. This is the limiting term. Limiting term has two significant figures. Limiting term has two significant figures. So now we multiply. Uh, four point five two times six point eight. We have thirty point seven three six. Corrected. We know that our final answer should have two significant figures. Then we are going to round. So in this case, the correct answer is 30.7. For two, for addition, for addition or subtraction, The result, the result has the same, the same 
decimal as the same decimal places as the number with least precise measurements used in the calculation. With least precise measurements used in the calculation. E.g. 20.11 8.2 if we are to add so in this case this is the limiting term limiting number or term has one decimal place. If we add 20.11 plus 8.2 plus 1.50, we have 29.8. One. Corrected. In this case, the final answer should have one decimal place. We'll have 29.8. Then when rounding, if the number to be removed is less than 5, the preceding e uh, digit stays the same. If it is more than five, the preceding digit increases by one. In the next tutorial, we'll look at uh, dimensional analysis. Thanks for watching.